In order to study the way that experience can influence the brain, there has been a great deal of research on the visual cortex of the kitten and how it is affected by its early visual environment. In the brain of a normal adult cat, and even a very young kitten, nearly all the neurons of the visual cortex have connections from both eyes, shown here schematically for one hemisphere. However, Hubel and Wiesel have demonstrated that if one of the kitten's eyes is covered, even for just a few days, sometime between three weeks and three months of age, the cortical cells lose their input from that eye and can only be influenced through the other one. The actual process is still not understood and this diagram merely represents the change. Reversing this procedure by covering up the eye that has previously seen soon causes the connections from the deprived eye to be re-established. This re-modification too can only occur within the three week to three month sensitive period. In a normal adult cat, these neurons in the visual cortex can be stimulated by moving patterns for example, on a television screen in front of the animal's eyes. Here is a deeply anaesthetized cat, and you can hear the impulses from a single nerve cell picked up by a microelectrode implanted in the visual cortex. This cell is spontaneously active even when there is no pattern on the screen, but it discharges very vigorously if a vertical bar moves across the correct part of the visual field. This region is called the receptive field of the neuron. If the bar is horizontal, there is no response. Neurons in the visual cortex, then, are orientation detectors, and this one responds best to a moving vertical edge. The results from such experiments can be shown in a diagram. Each cell prefers a particular orientation. These lines represent all the orientations preferred by a sample of neurons from a single normal cat. We have conducted some experiments to see how far these orientation detecting properties can be influenced by the cat's early visual experience. In these experiments, we regulate the visual environment by keeping kittens in complete darkness from birth, bringing them out for periods of controlled visual experience inside special cylindrical chambers. Here, a kitten is being exposed to an environment consisting entirely of horizontal stripes, and it wears a ruff to prevent it seeing its own body. This particular kitten will be exposed to these stripes each day from the age of three weeks until it is three months old. All the rest of the time, it remains in complete darkness. What are the consequences of this restricted visual experience? This is the same kitten at three months of age seeing a normal environment for the first time. If we test its visual ability at this stage, we find that unlike a normal kitten of the same age, it has no visual placing reaction. It does not extend its paws to reach a surface below although it does so as soon as it touches the table. And whereas a normal kitten backs away if an object is suddenly thrust towards it, this animal has no such startle reaction. It does not even follow a moving object unless this makes a noise.
these initial deficits seem to be failures of visuomotor coordination, probably an effect of the kitten's lack of interaction with visible moving objects, rather than of its specific exposure to stripes. However, these gross problems don't last, and within a few hours, the kitten seems almost normal. Now, after several days of living in a normal environment, it has typical visual placing. It shows startle reactions. And it follows a moving object. But its vision is not really complete. Watch the way that it responds to a shaking horizontal stick. The kitten can see it. But if the stick is made vertical, the kitten no longer reacts to it. Remember that this kitten saw only horizontal stripes when it was young. If we record from the cortex in a cat like this, we find that there are no neurons that prefer vertical edges. The cells will only respond to those orientations which the kitten saw when it was very young. Presumably, this explains the animal's unresponsiveness to vertical contours. In the same way, a kitten reared in vertical stripes is found to have only vertical and near-vertical detecting neurons in its visual cortex. This process of environmental modification of the cortex can also only occur during the same three-week to three-month sensitive period. In fact, we have found a period of peak sensitivity about 28 days from birth when only one hour's exposure to vertical stripes makes almost all cortical cells prefer vertical edges. So a kitten's early visual environment is crucially important for constructing the visual part of its brain. Perhaps during the first few weeks of life, the kitten's visual experiences are helping it to build a brain optimally suited to its own visual world. These demonstrations of plasticity support the argument that some important aspects of visual perception are acquired rather than innate. These modifications occur so quickly that they may tell us something about the changes in the brain during the formation of a visual memory. <laughs>